continuación no sabemos si está F. F. Mehmet, profesor especialista en medio ambiente. ¿Está? Sí. Tienes la palabra. Uh, greetings to all. I'm very happy to be here to see how this foundation has evolved in the last decade. Okay. So today I would like to talk about the uh, energy policy making, the climate change issues and environmental concerns in the Mediterranean region, uh, starting with the COVID period, because uh, during the COVID period, as you all agree, uh, the energy consumption is decreased, not only in the Mediterranean region, but in the world due to the uh, lessened economic activities. So economic activities has started to recover uh, during this summer. So the energy demand has increased rapidly. And as you see, especially in Europe, now we are facing with the energy crisis. The main reason of this energy crisis is the reliance to the fossil fuels. So not in Europe, but in the all over the world, the reliance to fossil fuels is today around 85%. No matter we are discussing about the energy transition, the impact of climate change, we are talking about the climate targets of the European Union, still reducing the fossil fuels role in the energy mix of the countries is the main challenge. So what is the, uh, how could we solve this problem? First of all, we need to utilize our renewable energy potential. All our countries have they have their indigenous renewable energy potential. When we have a look at the Mediterranean region, some of the countries like Spain, Italy, Turkey has already started to utilize their renewable energy potential compared to the many other countries in the Mediterranean. But the problem is this. It is quite difficult to act all together uh, when it comes to energy policy making because all different countries have different uh, energy problems, different uh, interests, different alliances. Therefore, they take this energy issue as a sovereign one. However, we can solve this problem basically uh, focusing through the energy transition aspect. So what is the energy transition aspect? So the energy transition aspect starting from the transitioning to the low carbon economy. But normally, uh, this has been designed from the top to bottom approach. I mean, the policymakers set the targets and regulations and the collectives, individuals, companies follow it. But from my perspective and from our perspective, in the last five years, uh, I have been involved in several Horizon 2020 projects where we were focusing on the energy decision making of the individuals and collectives. Uh, in energy transition, individuals are at the center. Therefore, our own decisions are quite important. We need to start from ourselves to change this. So when we are taking our decisions, we need to consider the, its potential impact. For example, the energy efficiency. When you have a look at the industry reports, the policy making reports, you always have an attribute towards the energy efficiency. What is energy efficiency? It's a hidden field. Today, with the energy efficiency activities potential, you can decrease the energy consumption by 35%. But now there is a new concept in Europe. Uh, it's actually developed in Europe and now it's spreading, the energy citizenship. Energy citizenship means that we need to take this into our decision-making processes. So while we are deciding, we need to always consider the impact of our actions. Normally, this doesn't work like this. Uh, either we take the decisions collectively or we actually make from the uh, wait from the policymakers to uh, see the impact of these policies. Uh, today, when we have a look at the numbers of the many countries, even in the Mediterranean region, we see the potential. But instead, I don't make, uh, yes, one minute left. So uh, we can talk about, the, for example, the priority is always the hydrocarbon reserves. No? When you have a look at the newspapers in my country and the surrounding countries, 
you this, see the fact that we are talking about the hydrocarbon reserves in the eastern Mediterranean. And who has the ownership? There are a lot of ongoing disputes, different alliances, right? So the interests cannot be melting in a single pot. But we are talking about this. Rather, from my point of view, we need to shift and create a new tail by focusing on the utilization of our renewable energy potential altogether. Mm -hmm.